supposed to be a uh, helpful and informative meeting uh, in which I learned a lot. Yeah. I wanted to just focus on um, process because town halls are an American tradition. I went to them for many years in New England. But what happens at them is that townies get a chance to interact openly with politicians and staff. And uh, that didn't happen here. There was another thing that happened, um, which was the politicians, very skillful, and staff members obviously dominated and controlled the whole meeting. So I'm disappointed in that. And I wish you would just consider renaming these meetings so that people would realize that another kind of thing happens. So that's my process comment. Now, in terms of content, I do accept what the senator has said, and he said, and I quote, there is not going to be a bill unless a need is proven and a consensus between agriculturalists and environmentalists is reached. So I feel that is a commitment yeah. to enter into a dialogue, to enter into a process. You were all here, yes. you heard that, and um, I assume you will follow up with that because you feel the pushback because as soon as it became a town hall, which has been happening the last few minutes, you began to realize the dozens of people who came and waited for that. That's why they came. There were many reasons why people came. And I, I'm glad for the skillful uh, politicians and staff that we have in this county and want to honor them. And there's no discredit to them. It's just maybe that I'm used to the New England great American where the birth of the country and the birth of town halls happened. So maybe uh, something else. We could just use a different language. I'm an English teacher, so. Uh, <laughs> so thank you. No, thank you, Ms. Morris. So we're back at IGA. So first of all, this is the same format uh, that we've had. This is our fifth year. Uh, so I did a town hall in every community. Hillsburg, Santa Rosa, Windsor, Garfield, Cloverdale, Geyserville, every year. Uh, and this is the same format, the fifth year of this format, uh, that we have always brought forward. Uh, and more I, popular I, and, now. And, and so, and here we go. Uh, so, uh, and the reason why we do that uh, is to make sure that you hear what's going on, because what I've heard uh, is that we're not out in the community enough. And by the way, I do this in every county, all seven, up and down the district. So, for example, we were up in Lake County last week, where I will tell you, no other state senator has ever held a town hall, or whatever you want to call our format. Uh, and it's because I believe that we need to be able to have a conversation. Uh, and by the way, tonight, no one's being cut off. We're having a conversation. We may not always agree, but I don't know anyone else that's doing it. So, uh, and that's why uh, we want to continue to push forward, and that has been my style. And let's talk about... Uh, the issue of agriculture and the environment. So I know that we may not always agree on issues, but I have a track record of bringing all sides together on tough issues. And, uh, and I will tell you, uh, just because the wine community came and wanted to talk about legislation, we immediately contacted the environmental community and we also told the wine community that they needed to talk to the environmental community. They've had some conversations already as well. And it is not because of pushback at this town hall that we're not advancing it. By the way, it's the same thing that I told the environmental community and the ag community back in March. Yeah. Uh, and it's specifically about we need to prove the need and we need to work with all sides. And I will tell you, we did that with the Sonoma County Airport project. It's the only project that was not litigated in the county of Sonoma in 10 years because we brought the Sierra Club, the California Native Plain Society, all, all the neighbors in, we spent two years on that issue. Uh, we did that with the first, up, the, 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 the first update on BESCO, in my first six months. Uh, and we brought forward, working with the agricultural community and the wine industry and environmentalists, uh, an update to BESCO. Dry, and I will tell you this. The Dry Creek Project. Uh, and the Dry Creek Project. So we had a controversial project that's moving forward in Dry Creek Valley, where the water agency needs to be able to have land on private property owners. I've gone kitchen table to kitchen table talking with landowners, having multiple town halls uh, out there, and we're having another one, and we're participating with Supervisor Gore in two weeks. 
Uh, and this is my style. Uh, and this is what I believe in. And i got to say, um, I know that there are critics of the wine industry. I hear that. And they also are a significant economic driver, and we need to work with them. Uh, and working in silos works maybe for Washington, D.C., but it won't work here in uh, Sonoma County. And I'm being sarcastic, right? Uh, and when you operate in silos, you don't get a damn thing done. And so just because I'm having conversations with the wine community doesn't mean that we're always going to agree. In fact, I've heard some colorful language from the wine community of things that I don't support. <laughs> and that's what we should be doing. We should be talking with all sides. Since when uh, have we uh, become a society where you can't work with both sides of an issue to draw a compromise and work together? When we work together, we are stronger. And I'm a firm believer that... style. This is how it's always been. This is how I'm always going to be. This is personal to me. This is where I'm going to raise my kids. This is where Eric and I live. And it's personal. And I feel it is an incredible privilege to be able to be here with you tonight. But if you can name me anyone else in state office right now that's doing this, I'd like to hear it. Exactly. And that is what I'm going to continue. And that is not a promise that is a way of the way I do business. And I swear to you, that's what we're going to continue to do. And I'm going to end it with this. We are going to continue talking with the wine community. We are. And we're going to continue talking with the environmental community. But what I will tell you is, the two commitments that I made in March, it's not recently, made in March and said this to both sides. we got to prove, number one, that there is a need. Number two, we have to bring all sides together. And then... If we can even get there, then we do a huge process related to the public. Because if we aren't reacting off a draft, then I don't know where we're going to go. So I promise you, it's going to continue, and I'm grateful I'm going to step off my soapbox. <laughs> uh, so I appreciate it.